bravely in the garage going even Hey guys, we're out here looking at a 1946 CJ2A today. Uh, this is a, a friend of mine. I finished this Jeep probably 10, 12 years ago. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of miles on it. I'm just going to give a quick walk around and we'll talk about it. Uh, 46 CJ2A. It does have a tool slot body on it. Um, I made a lot of the body. Uh, it's got a half cab on it. We've got the rest of the bows for it. Uh, it's got a full PTO system. Uh, this was used for running a wood chipper. Um, when I finished it for him, he was running a wood chipper with it. Um, but it is for sale. And mm, projects like this that I finished uh, normally don't come up for sale. But this one is now for sale. Uh, you can see it's got dual gas tanks there. Um, it's got the knobby tires on it. So basically we started with a very good non-pitted frame. Uh, everything is 100% completely rebuilt on this. We started with new springs, uh, USA made from Eaton Detroit. Uh, completely went through uh, the front end, the rear end. Uh, transmission transfer case, everything is rebuilt to my normal standards. Uh, you can see we've got 11 inch brakes in there with the finned drums. Uh, there is an overdrive in it, uh, one of Herm's overdrives. Try and get you in here. The sunlight's a little tough, but. Um, Here's the PTO shifter. You've got your overdrive transfer case transmission. We did rebuild original gauges for this. Um, and we do have the governor throttle linkage. It is not hooked up at this time. We'll go over that in a little bit. It's not hooked up at this time. Uh, canvas seats. Canvas half cab, like I said. Uh, we have a full floating rear end in here. Uh, that's just what my customer wanted. And um, again, completely rebuilt. Everything is 100% rebuilt on this. It's ready to go. It's ready to use and drive. It's like a brand new Jeep, even though it's been finished for, like I say, 10 or 12 years. I'm not exactly sure. And um, we'll open up the hood next and, uh, and take a look in there. Okay guys, here's a look at the engine compartment. We've got an original horn there. Yeah, the light is kind of tough, but it is a King Sealy governor on there. And the engine has been rebuilt. It's running perfectly. Uh, we've got the large oil canister. Pertronics and a Pertronics coil in there. Uh, rebuilt starter and generator, that's the correct generator. Uh, you can't see in there. The correct generator with the cast pulley. And like I say, this is uh, a six volt system. And uh, starts and runs just fine. It's super tight, the steering is good, the brakes are good with those 11 inch brakes. Uh, it drives as a new Jeep should. Hope you guys can see it okay with the sunlight. We've got two tail lights on there instead of a tail light and a reflector. We did put mounts in for seat belts. Uh, this particular customer has left the passenger seat belt in there because people kind of get nervous uh, when they have nothing to hold on to. Uh, if you want a seat belt there's the bolt for the uh, seat belt if you do want to put a driver's one in. Uh, we've got an original windshield frame there. There are no 
uh, reproduction panels on this. If anything needed to be made, I, I handmade it. Um, no reprodu reproduction panels. Um, the early three plates here instead of the one long one. And, uh, and like I say, there's a uh, driver's gas tank and a passenger side gas tank. Uh, I made the gas tank for the side. Uh, we put another neck coming out the side. Um, like I say, a, uh, a complete ready to drive and use for many, many years uh, Jeep. So we'll see if we can't get them to fire it up and uh, I can show you it moving around. Alright, we got Matt in it. He's giving me a hand with the video today. Just fired it up. Uh, very easy starting on the 6 volt. And we'll go for a ride in a little bit, but we'll just have Matt run it up and down here a little bit. There she is in gear. Okay, I think I'm going to hop in there and we're going to take a cruise down the road to show you how she shifts and operates. Okay guys, we're headed for the street. I'm just going to take it on a little test drive so you can see how it runs and operates.
to the house now. Got the overdrive in here too. Yeah, well don't forget we got an overdrive. We didn't have a ship today yet, but uh, we do have an overdrive. I'm gonna try and show you guys the gauges. Uh, we are charging, the amp meter's charging. We're about 180 on the temp. We got 40 PSI on the oil pressure. And we're just coming up on 30 miles an hour. And this guy will do 50 miles an hour all day long. And it's super comfortable to drive. Plenty of power, and like I say, it has a full PTO on it. Uh, and uh, try out our overdrive here. Go for the overdrive, man. Smooth shifting overdrive. Very nice. We got the handle bent just perfect, so it goes in and out very nice. Here we go out of it again. Boom. Perfect shift. And like I say, that is a overdrive from uh, Herm the Overdrive guy. And if any of you guys know about his stuff, he makes good, uh, good quality overdrives. And uh, this one shifts and operates perfectly. Take my uh, hands off the wheel here. Perfectly straight. Hands off the wheel. We are cruising down the road nice and straight. There's no death wobble or anything like that. This is a 100% rebuilt and restored CJ2A and will make a fine addition to anybody's fleet. So we're going to roll back to the house now and we'll give it one last look around once we, once we get parked again. Okay guys, here we are back at the house. And like I say, this will uh, this will provide you with a perfect, not have to do anything to it Jeep if that's what you're after. Um, this one is 100% done. Uh, it, it, it's finished and it's ready to uh, be shipped anywhere uh, that somebody wants it. We can assist with shipping and. Uh, we can get this to you wherever you are. Uh, just feel free to send me a comment below if you're interested. And uh, I can give you a little bit more information about it. And uh, we can take it from there. But if anybody is looking for a 100% finished CJ2A um, made with original panels and um, some of my own handcrafted panels, um, this would be a good Jeep for you. Uh, like I say, it, it, it has all the all the bells and whistles you could want on one. Original set of worn hubs on there. If I can get you focused in. Uh, the only thing I did not do was pinstripe the wheels on this one. Uh, I did not put a green stripe on them. But uh, that's something you could, you could do yourself or uh, if you need I can get that done for you. But... Um, it is super clean inside and out. Frame is shiny black. It's detailed underneath just as nice as it is on the outside. And this Jeep is ready for a new home. So if this is something that you think you're interested in, just get a hold of me and uh, we can take it from there. So uh, we're going to end this one here. I can provide more pictures if you need them or anything you need, just let me know. So, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.